Uh, welcome to the tutorial. I'm Yalungu FI. Today I will be presenting Industrial Electronics L4. So the chapter that I'll be focusing on today is our transistor amplifiers. Right. So let's have a circuit on the board. A common emitter amplifier. Resistors. So this is your plus VCC. So we're biasing the circuit. This is my VCC. So this is your um, your emitter. This is your collector, and this is your base. So you put this bypass capacitors. Right. So this is what you have. Right. So this is your your R B. This is your R C. Right, we know that the transistor consists of three terminals. The collector side, the emitter side, and the base side. So we can say this is maybe C1, this is C, uh, maybe C2, connected to the output. You can see there, C1 is connected on the, on the input. Right, so it's used as a cup. Right, so this is the circuit now, where you have RB, RC connected on the collector side, RB connected on the base side, and on the emitter side, there is nothing connected. You can see there. Right, so, well, if it's a common emitter, we already know that we have the base as our input, and then we have the collector as our, as our output. Right. So you can now clearly see that the input side can, can be identified if it's a common emitter there. Right. So this is the base, meaning that if this is the base, if you want to measure the input voltage, obviously it will be um, taken between two points. So you can see the voltage has to be taken from this line here, the base and the emitter. Right. So this will be the input voltage in this case. So V in will be equal to, since now the voltage is taken between the base and the emitter, then we can say V in is equal to V B E. So the V B E is the emitter or is the base emitter voltage, right? This is the input voltage of a common emitter amplifier, right? Well, if, if the base is the input and VBE is the input voltage to the circuit or to this common emitter amplifier, it means that we have IB as the input, so input current. So it means that your I in will be equal to your IB. Remember, we have the base as our input, so IB has to be the input current, right? Now, we also have the output side, and then we said, if it's a common emitter amplifier, we have the collector as our output, right? So it means that we are going to measure our output on the collector side, right? But now, let's start with the output voltage. The output voltage will be taken from this line here and the emitter. So you can see that this voltage will be called VCE because you are taking it from the collector or between the collector and the emitter. So this voltage here, V out, is given by VCE, meaning that this is our, the collector emitter voltage because it's taken between the, um, the collector and the emitter. Remember when you measure your own to put your meter on the positive and the negative um, terminal of that circuit on the output side. So this is what we have. So we say that the collector is the output. We know that the current that flows through the collector is IC, the output current. So it means that now our IC or our I out is equal to I, IC, right? No question if it's uh, a common emitter amplifier. So another thing that we have to look at or that you have to know is that the 
input impedance or input resistance must also be considered there. So on the input, we are going to have what? We are going to have maybe they call it what? R in input resistance, and on the other side, you are going to have what? You are out. Right. What else? Power in. Power in. Which is given by P in. And we also have on the output side, power out. Power out. So these are the things that you have to focus on because if you are asked to calculate, for example, the uh, voltage gain, the voltage gain, I believe we know what is a gain. A gain is a factor that increases the value of anything that is held uh, in that device, right? So if you have maybe a magnitude of current as your input as two amps, right? That two amps has to be amplified and the amplified current will be measured across um, on the output side, which in this case is IC, right? So if let's say you are asked to calculate the voltage gain. So the voltage gain, I will write it as A, V. The V represents voltage. This is voltage gain. Remember, gain is represented by an A at some instances. So this is voltage gain. Voltage gain is equal to your V out over, over your V in. So this is what you must know. That is the first equation there. The second equation, maybe current gain, current gain, I'll write it as AI. So this is equal to I out over I in. What else? Uh, number three, maybe power gain. Power gain will be represented by AP, which is equal to your P out over your P in. Right, so this, are the possible questions. But now, remember I said for voltage gain, your V out is actually your VCE divided by your V in is actually VB, VBE. So don't be confused. Common emitter amplifier, if it's a common emitter amplifier, your VCE is your output voltage, your VBE is your input voltage. Come to this one, your IO, we said that IC is our output, so write it as IC over IB. This is what we said, right? So the power gain, when it comes to the power gain, easy, but you have to remember something that you have done in, N, in N2 and N1. If let's say you are not given what? Power out and power in. You can apply this equation here. Sorry for power. We can apply this equation where we say power out, for example, is equal to maybe V I. You still remember this equation. So if this is power out, this has to be V out, this has to be I out. But we did say that on a common emitter amplifier, V out is V C E multiplied by I C. So these are the things that you have to look at. And we also have another equation for uh, so this, we have another equation for power out. Power out is equal to the I squared R, right? So if this is power out and you are using the current and the resistance to calculate this output power, it means that this one has to be out, that one has to be output resistance. And we also have this one, power out equal to um, your V squared over R. You still remember that equation. So if this is out, this one here has to be out, that one here has to be out, right? So you are going to do the same for the input power, right? You are going to use your inputs, if you, if you understand what I mean, right? Well, these are the equations, or these are the things that you need to know, right? So if you check, you will see that this equation, let's go back to the equation of the voltage gain, right? AV is equal to V out over V in, and we say that V out is equal to VCE and V in is equal to VBE, right? So we call this static values where you are only given 
one value for VCE, one value for VBE, right? So you can calculate this voltage gain using these values. To the current as well, they can give you static values, meaning that they give you only one value for the output and then one value for the input, which is IB, right? But sometimes they can give you what we call dynamic values. Let's say they tell you that the input current rises from two, right? So they were given the initial initial uh, current at the final current, right? So if let's say you have to calculate the um, current gain, the equation now will you still use the same equation, but you are going to say this is equal to the change in I out over the change in I in, right? So this change there, we take into consideration the initial current and the final current, right? So we can say here this change, it's I final minus I initial, right? But remember, we are talking about the output current, right? So it means that you are going to have what? I, IC initial, sorry, IC final. Let me just write it as IC final minus IC initial divided by, you have IB because I in, IB is the input current for a common emitter. So this one here will be IB final minus your IB initial. Right, so you just have to check the question. Static values, you are given one value for I, I out and I in. But dynamic values, you'll be given, you'll be told that the current increases from two or they can, they can give you the change in, in current, or they can say the current changes by, right? If they say the current changes by, then you need to know that you are given the change. If they say the current changes with, that is also the change in current. So it depends whether it's output or input, right? So but if they say the current changes to, you know that that is your final current. So those are the things that we have to look at. I'm not going to focus more on that, but let me repeat it again. If they say the current changes by, the current changes by, they give you a value. That value is the change in current. Already, you substitute it, you substitute it in the equation. There is no need for you to subtract. Or if they say the current changes with, you substitute it. It means that you are already given the change in I out or the change in I in, depending on what you are given there, right? But if they say the current changes to, then you must know you are given the final current. Can you see that? If they say the current changes to, but normally they give you the change in current, right? But just to read the question, I'm just making you, I'm just making sure that you are aware of that so that you come across a question like that you know right. so these are the equations that you can you can use but these equations are only applicable in a DC circuit 